Good day, West Sacramento. I am Dina Kupfer. We are at the CHP Academy in West Sacramento this morning where a bell toll ceremony is about to get underway to honor a fallen officer. CHP officer Kirk Griss passed away in the line of duty last week. He was a motorcycle officer for CHP serving in the Solano unit. And today we are going to be seeing his fellow officers and family members gather to pay their respects and pay tribute to a man who served 19 years with the CHP. The gravity of today could not be more emotional for the family members who will be here marking the end of watch for someone who gave so much back to his community from Vacaville. Uh, Officer Griss leaves behind a wife and three children. And again, today we are expecting the ceremony to get underway at 10 a.m. We have the Academy Camp Commander this morning with us, James Mann, to talk more about what today means and what it really signifies for the rest of your family here. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Um, today is, is a day, obviously, where it gives us an opportunity to, to mourn our officer's loss. Um, he makes the 229th name that's, that's on the fountain right behind you. And uh, it's an opportunity for us to come together as a CHP family uh, with the members of the Gris family and uh, to just pay tribute to the ultimate sacrifice and his loss in the line of duty. Being the 229th loss, uh, last week we were just covering the CHP cadet run, marking a new group of young men and women getting into the force. We know that the sacrifice you make each and every day is big. Being here today amongst your fellow brothers and sisters in, in this law enforcement agency, how does it make you feel to, to be able to serve here with them and also to have obviously such a somber moment behind us? Well, this, this job would not be tolerable without the support of the community, my personal family, and the CHP family that you see surrounding me today. Um, I learned a long time ago when getting on this job that tragedy happens, and you have to compartmentalize it and make the best of it. Uh, this ceremony affords us an opportunity to come together as that family, uh, share good stories that we have of Officer Griss, and uh, to really contemplate the service that we provide to the community. And the community, they, they deserve service. They deserve selfless service. Uh, it's terrible when these incidents happen. Uh, but I know for certain uh, that Officer Griss uh, died doing something he loved and serving the state and, and trying to keep people safe out there. Absolutely. Well, thank you to all of you for your service for our community members. And again, the bell toll ceremony is going to get underway at 10 o'clock this morning. We'll be streaming that live for you on our Facebook page at CBS 13. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Dina.